So this video is about how I used a BIOS or an old laptop to connect my servers and use that laptop as a router. So essentially what I did was I used an old laptop and the reason I say la old laptop because I had no use of it. The only advantage it had was that it had a Wi-Fi connection and it had an Ethernet connection. So um, it was running around, I think it was two gig of memory and maybe uh, two gig of storage. I put in a bootable VIOS USB. And you can use Rufus or Rufus to make a bootable USB drive for BIOS. Just copy the iOS into a USB and plug it in and then make sure you know how to boot through that USB for that laptop. Once you have installed the BIOS on this laptop, this laptop essentially now is a router. It's got two interfaces, right? Interface one is the Wi-Fi, and interface two is the Ethernet. So I use this Wi-Fi connection to connect to my Wi-Fi router that connects to the internet. And the reason I did that because I have a server that needs internet access. So one way was to connect this ethernet directly to the Wi-Fi, which requires a long cable and wasn't a neat solution. Uh, this is sitting quite far apart. So I connected this guy with the Wi-Fi router and then Wi-Fi router becomes, my laptop becomes a Wi-Fi router and connects to this Wi-Fi router that connects to the internet, right? So this server basically has an ethernet connection with the default gateway of the IP address of this guy. So I have the configuration right here. There was a couple of things that you gotta, if you wanna do this, you wanna make a note of this. So now I've got the server connected to the internet, right? And I can install whatever I need to install on these servers. These are Linux servers and I can install anything I want on the internet. I have internet access through my old Toshiba laptop. Once you install the VS router on the Toshiba laptop natively on the hardware itself, you know, removing all the OS, previous OSs on it, deleting them. Uh, you would uh, configure, you would see the WLAN interface on it, and you can configure the WLAN to be DHCP. Your Ethernet is going to be this guy. So that's my Ethernet zero right here. My WLAN zero is the DHCP right here, getting the IP address from my Wi-Fi router. Channel six, uh, you can use whatever is available. Physical interface, uh, it's default. You don't have to configure this. Security mode, I'm using WPA2. I think that's default for a lot of uh, Wi-Fi routers. And whatever appreciate key you're using, whatever SSID you're using. And this is the thing that you need to configure it correct, correctly. <clears throat> you have to configure the interface WLAN zero type station. Once you uh, use this command, your Wi-Fi will get the IP address and you will have two interfaces, the ethernet and the Wi-Fi both active with IP addresses. Now all you need to do is configure source NAT. So here's your source NAT. Your outbound interface is your Wi-Fi. That's how it's going out this way. And 
and your source is your 10 dot address, whatever it is. But I basically say, I, I just said every anything and everything. You can use 10. And then translate address masquerade basically use the address and add it to the address of this guy. That's all I have. And if you get this configuration up and running, you'll see that you have your VS router with two interfaces, and then you can have the server connected to this laptop as a router. And your server can now access the internet without you connecting a long cable directly to your Wi-Fi router. Hope this helps.